you to simply unluckier. And it's time for the sealed only GameStop challenge. As you guys can see, we're here at GameStop today. We're gonna try to go inside, purchase some beautiful booster packs, maybe find some hidden booster packs as well. And then also, you guys, please remember to check the channel, subscribe for more epic sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh! content, and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. All right, you guys, so we made our way into GameStop, and uh, we were trying to record us getting some amazing booster packs. But as we got inside, we found out just like Walmart, can't record in here. And we're like, okay, you know, okay, that makes sense. So uh, we ended up getting some booster packs. We got the, the biggest bags because you go bigger, you go home. And uh, we're gonna make some epic opening content. Maybe we'll go to a different GameStop in a different region to get some recording done inside. Maybe just ask the employees to let us take over the store for a little bit and <laughs> do some videos. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna be opening these packs very soon. Oh, hey guys, just got back from the GameStop for the sealed only challenge. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but we are doing this a little differently from Walmart because they don't have those beautiful mystery power boxes, um, but they do have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh products. So what we're gonna do is make three different trips for $100 per trip for the $300 challenge, but each trip will be a $100 challenge video. So let's do it, you guys. And also, we're gonna get the massive bags every time we go. So it's gonna be epic, it's gonna be awesome. And I also wanna mention why we get into this. Uh, we are back online, you guys, with all the Simple and Lucky playmats here. This is the Dragon Mate. This is the Simple and Lucky logo. And then, of course, Purple and Black Dark Magician. And then all playmats, you guys, for SimpleandLucky.com will be on sale. Um, and we're also including the one and only, the Field Center token card with each of these playmats. Um, so check them out. Link at the top of the description below. All right, so for this $100 challenge, we got our, our loot today from GameStop. You guys see, look at that massive bag. I love the bag. It's great. See inside here. So I feel like the Walmart video may be a little more consistent because we kind of have to spread it out a little bit because GameStop only has so many booster packs inside, but I still very much enjoy doing this. So I'm just gonna have to go with the flow. And I feel like we're gonna be able to figure it out. I feel like with your guys' help, we'll be able to make some epic Yu-Gi-Oh decks here. Ah. GameStop. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, GameStop, pretty epic place here in America if you guys aren't from America. I'm not sure if they're all over the world or anything, but uh, it's always been a fun store. Lately, they've kind of been switching more to the collectibles or even tabletop games because obviously video games are now just being released online. So, pretty cool. All right, so we have four Legendary Duelist Immortal Destinies. We got a Hidden Summoners. A speed duels, and there's actually four speed duel packs inside there. I'm looking for a Sphere Karibo. Uh, we got three Dark Neostorm, four Dark Neostorm, four Chaos Impact. We got one Chaos Impact Special Edition just because we thought, oh baby. We got four Infinity Chasers, obviously on the rise, Infinity Chasers, if you guys didn't know. A lot of support coming out for both of those decks. And uh, two Ignition Soul, three Soul Fusion, and four Mystic Fighters. Honestly, right now, I'm more or less focusing on the $100 challenge for this video because I think this is a pretty sweet type of video when you just go to a store, get $100 worth of product, and you're like, can we pull? Can we profit? Can we complete the challenge? All right, so here we go. We're gonna start it off. I love how it's all blister packs as well, you guys. You just, you just know. You just know it's from GameStop. Um, we're gonna start it off with Legendary Duelist Immortal Destiny. You guys ready? Here we go. First blister pack. This will be interesting to open. To make things a little easier, we went ahead and popped open all of those Immortal Destiny blisters just because I can take a little while on camera. Okay, so I think everyone knows what we're looking for out here, that adjustable Bane. Pulling a Bane though kind of makes us, gives us that possibility for an evil hero deck, so I like that. Dark Necrofear, also very powerful. All right, Bakur, let's see what you got. First pack from our Team GameStop challenge. Post in the comments below, you guys, if you're Team GameStop. Evil Hero Malicious, Roar, the Earthbound Sun Dragon, Gimmick Puppet, and Perform Puppet. Next pack. Leave 
of the cards. Here we go. Evil Heroes, Pop of Parade, Zoma. Got the Stark Sanctuary. Very nice. Powerful card for our Bakura deck here. Ooh, number 40. Sun Dragon, Pretty Blast, Fire Ant. Okay. Dark Sanctuary again. No more packs left. Supe, Evil Hero, Infernal Prodigy. We got the Supreme King's Castle. Nice for those dark fusions. Still four more booster packs left. What is gonna happen? Can we get a foil card at least? Protoponics, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That's pretty good. Dark Necrofear. More gimmick puppets, Protoponics. Nice three packs from our Immortal Destinies. First edition blister pack opening here. Supe, gimmick puppet. And Dark Spirit of Banishment, nice. Uh, pretty powerful uh, Dark Spirit Fiend card. Evil Mind, there we go. For fusing our uh, evil heroes. Nice one foil so far. Oh, call the Earthbound and nice Dark Spirit of Malice. So we got this Malice and we got Banishment in our LED 5 Immortal Destiny booster packs. Let's see if we can get an ultra rare from our final pack here. I'm actually curious if these cards would actually benefit uh, a sealed only deck without having a whole bunch of fiend monsters. So, uh, Immortal Destinies, <laughs> Immortal uh, Weira Kacha, Weira Kocha Raska, sorry. Roy the Earthbound, Zoma, and Evil Mind again. Okay. Next, I think I'm feeling, feeling some Mystic Fighters. You guys like Mystic Fighters? I feel like this is the time. Here we go. Time for some Mystic Fighters. First edition booster packs. Can we complete the $100 challenge? Here we go. Ooh, addition. Already a good start. Some pack value. Appropriate. Debris. Changeover. House Dragon made. Nice. Always like seeing House. She's a good one as well. We good first pack there. Three more packs. Come on. You guys know where it's at. We got the Generator cards. Ooh, Waking the Dragon, another good card. Uh, kitchen, Nurse, a lot of powerful cards. Jinzo, or sorry, Jizno, very nice. I was actually thinking that'd probably be a pretty sweet card to get for a sealed only challenge, just because, you know, he's actually a good card. Very nice. Wow. Sign it back door, Division, and Sigma. Cool. All right, come on, Mystic Fighters. Believe in the heart of the cards, for it will guide us. Dragon's Ravine, addition again. <laughs> Value, nice. Appropriate, Debris Dragon, and Induction. Very cool. Last booster pack here, come on, heart of the cards. Ooh, Zizno again. Lightning Dragon, Dragon Maid Uranus. Subtraction and the Boss Quest. <laughs> uh, very cool, you guys, so we got Two additions out of there, a house and two Jinzos. I don't think addition will help us very much for our sealed only, but value wise, nice uh, booster packs there. All right, where are we going next with this, you guys? Where are we going next with this? I'm feeling some Soul Fusion. Three Soul Fusion first edition booster packs. I want to take note of that first edition. Um, you know what's funny is we got that Waking the Dragon just in case one of the other teams pulls a lightning storm. <laughs> so here we go. Soul Fusion. You guys know the drill. Suchinoko, Walmart already has a Suchinoko. And they have the uh, Chaos Dragon. Wow. wow. I don't even know. Trap Tricks. Trap Trick. Danger Mothman, that's a good one. The Mothman, Constellation Prime. Gravekeepers. Here we go. Foxy, Agave, Jaguar. Heritage of the Chalice, okay. Got a ultra rare card, Sign Fusion. Super Doom King. There's Diana. Last pack of Destiny from Soul Fusion. Come on, GameStop. Where is the Fire Rat? Agave. Jaguar. Bear Locker. Blocker. Extra Foolish Burial. Actually, a pretty cool card. Uh, pay half your life points to send a monster from your extra deck to the grave. You can do some shenanigans. Keep Leo as well. Cool. Spare that. All right. Now it's time to go into the. Ooh -hoo. Some of that good stuff here. You feeling that Infinity Chase? I saw you focusing on that Infinity Chasers. Here we go. It's time to chase Infinity. So out of these packs, I mean, honestly, the Witchcrafter, Short Prince, and the uh, 
Ooh, Serzial would be great. Spell Absorption, there's some nice Spellcaster cards in here. Witchcrafter, Confronting the Sea, Wonder Wand, cool. Oh, oh, those Witchcrafter Secret Rare Creation. Oh, By Street. Okay, still very cool to see. By Street, Confronting the Sea, Wonder Wand. Man, it'd be pretty cool to get some more Infinity Chasers booster packs. Let us know in the comments below, you guys. Should we make a Spellcaster deck going on with these, these packs? Witchcrafter cards can be pretty good. You know what we need if we get a whole bunch of Witchcrafter? Some, uh, some heroes. Down one. Oh, Evil Eye Awakening, nice. Some magical heroes would be good with the uh, spellcast cards. Arcanine Magician, very powerful. Um, but again, you guys, here in Northern California, Modesto, this is uh, a place where there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh players. So every Target, every GameStop, all the magical heroes is pretty much gone. Phantom Beast, Draco Sack, ooh, Secret Village. There we go, two very powerful cards, by the way. Uh, Magician's Left Hand, on the field. Hey, nice Infinite Tracks, Mega Clocks. This is actually a very valuable uh, card because of the fact that it's just three Xyz monsters to make it and the new Master Rule's coming out. People are like, whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's actually very good. Unaffected by other monster effects, except those of Xyz monsters. Cannot be destroyed by battle except with an Xyz monster. You can target an Xyz monster in your grave and one card your opponent controls. Special summon the monster from the grave and if you do, attach that opponent's card as material. What? That is crazy. One card your opponent controls. You can literally take one of their spells or traps. Jeez. This is crazy. That's, that's Mega Clops, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Pretty valuable card. It's not a short print either. It's about as valuable as it gets for a non short print card. Ten Hosner Gate. Oh, nice. Tunnel. Do I hear? A River Storm. This is pretty cool. Two level five monsters. Three Xyz monsters. We'll make it happen. Okay. We're moving into the uh, the storm. You guys feel that storm coming? Some dark Neo Storm. Okay. Dark Neo Storm. Let's see if the storm makes a difference. Are the cards guide us? World Legacy Cliffhanger. The Crawler, Pegasus Wing, Puzzle Man, Logs Flame, You're in Danger, Loud Cloud, Cybers, Dino Wrestlers. Okay. So one of these packs I accidentally flipped open. It's the Secret Rare, no judgment here. You can see I kind of messed it up a little bit. Crusadia Testament, Altergeist, Creatol. Oh, Crackdown, that's a good one. Uh, Chaos Betrayer, Stand In, Loud Cloud, Cybers Reminder. Wow, I forgot about Crackdown. That. That could make a huge difference for this video, um, for the uh, sealed only uh, war of the retail stores. <laughs> Here we go. Crackdown, that's a good one. Fennec, Delangel, Gookies, Orcus Crescendo, maybe some Orcus, some Weather Painters, Yuki Musume. All right, last stain pack here. Let's do this. Give it to us. Kaiba! Soul mode. Dirge! Dirge! Muddy Wood <laughs> Oh, baby! Okay, okay. It's Chaos Special Edition from GameStop. Here we go. So, the card in here Armory Call. That could be fun. Three Chaos Impacts. Ooh, Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai. I was like, that's exactly what we need. Two warrior monsters, including six M. We're gonna make that happen. We're gonna make that happen. Uh, one of my favorite archetypes, though. If you guys don't know, you're new to the channel. Six Samurais was actually one of my first decks that I really got, got competitive with. Okay, Evil Tiles. Bye bye damage. Gladiator Beast. What rain? Dream Mirrors. Brutal battles. Okay, awesome pack. I like how we have one hidden summoner's booster pack. By the way, it makes me happy. Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eye. Hey, we got some Evil Eye cards going on here. Here, we'll, we'll set it right there. Uh, Jelly Cannon, by the way. When a monster declares an attack, target one monster in the field, shuffle it to the deck. Hey, just want to let you know. That could be pretty good for our, uh, for our match here. Princess. All right, last Chaos Impact from the Special Edition. We still have our First Edition boosters. Peaceful Burial to go with our Extra Foolish Burial. Overburst, Arrow Mages, World Legacies. 
and uh, Hidden Summoner's time. So from Hidden Summoner's, interesting set. A lot of value has actually gone up a bit in here because of the whole zombie train. It's coming with uh, the next set, Secret Slayers. So prepare yourselves. Also take another look at Hidden Summoner's when you guys get a chance. A lot of good cards in there for zombies. Here we go. Prank Kids Pandemonium. Nice. Still the Prank Kids as well. Prank Kids Plan. Shirinui Spectral Sword. Speaking of zombies, Zombie Tuner. Rebirth of Nephthys. And Gold Sarcophagus. Oh, baby. That's a pretty sweet card. I know value-wise, you know. But it's a pretty sweet card for a sealed-only challenge. That'd be fun. You can play that in any deck. Nice Gold Sarcophagus. And that Shirinui Spectral Sword will come in handy for a Tuner as, a, as well. All right. We're going to make our way into this Arena of Lost Souls. Again, taking note that this is a blister pack that contains four boosters inside. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that for like an official Yu-Gi-Oh pack from Konami, you know. I know MJ holding with their mystery packs and random shenanigans they do, but uh, this is interesting. Oh, game's death. It was on sale, by the way. This was uh, like 50% off or something. Okay. Honestly, you guys, Sphere Karibo would be incredible. I know it's the hardest card to pull on this set. But for sealed only challenge and value wise, that would be crazy. Let's do it. Speed duels, arena of lost souls. Come on, baby. Let's get some of that value. Whiptail crow, common charity could be decent. Magical ghost. I feel like we should do sealed only speed duels. That, that could be really fun. Speed duel cards and do them in the uh, actual format. Conscription, wicked f uh, flame, burge. Nice dragon zombie. Cool. Can we get a foil card from these four packs? Oh, well, didn't give that away or anything. Shield and Sword, Skull Servant, hey. Wicked Flame, Tomb of the Pharaoh. <laughs> Can we use this? <laughs> Can we use this for the video? This card's name is always treated as Necro Valley, all great keeper monsters. <laughs> we'll just start the game with the, the Necro Valley Tomb of the Pharaoh on here. Hey guys, doesn't really do anything for anybody, but we're just gonna, we're gonna have it out there. So Team GameStop got a uh, Speed Duel skill card uh, for our actual Yu-Gi-Oh! format. It's going to be interesting. Okay. But that's an ultra rare, by the way. Out of four packs, it's cool. Tomb of the Pharaoh. Mystic Horseman. Wasteland. Magical Ghost. Ooh, King's Knight. I actually like that a lot. I know it comes ultimate rare, but still pretty sweet to see it. Super rare. King's Knight. I feel like they should have made all of them super rare or something. Okay, so two foil cards from those beautiful Arena of Lost Souls boosters. Blisters, I should say. I think we're gonna have to save Ignition of, Ignition of Soul for last because literally it has not only the most expensive card in the meta, most valuable card in the meta, but it's actually probably the best card for a sealed only challenge, which is Lightning Storm. And I think everyone just agrees with that. A Regeki Harpy's Feather Duster is just way too good no matter where you are in the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh world. So, we're gonna save Ignition Assault for last. Hopefully you get some epic cards inside. And here we go with Chaos Impact. And before we get into our last booster packs of Team GameStop's $100 challenge here for Sealed Only, I wanted to take note of the link at the top of the description below, you guys. If you're in need of any single cards and you guys wanna support Simply Unlucky, check out that link and it'll lead you straight to TCG Player for the Simply Unlucky Game Shop, and all the single cards will be completely organized for you guys to check out if you need anything. All right, you guys, let's get back with this video. Last four packs of Chaos Impact. So, this can get pretty crazy, you guys. This can get pretty crazy. Still haven't pulled a Prismatic, just throwing that down, but IP is in here. A lot of cards safer it's in here. What can happen? Bye-bye damage. Old mine. Oh, safer! Oh, baby! Safer in the house, just mentioned his name. We're just thinking about him, and man, he came to us. Look at that. Look at that beautiful secret rare first edition Safer. That's great. Why is he good? Well, we'll tell you why right now. You can send any number of dragon monsters from your hand and or face up field to the grave to add a dragon monster from your deck. Wow, whose level equals the total original levels of those monsters. That's crazy. You can banish this card from the grave to target a level eight light or dark dragon monster in your grave and add it to your hand. You guys, we're talking like dark armed dragons, Leviathaners. Like this is like so good, so good. Each effect once per turn. It's a very good in the removal decks, man. If Chaos had this, Chaos Dragon, Dark Armed Dragon had this card, it would've been insane. Starleaf Safer, 
There he is. Beautiful card. Wow. Um, definitely the top few cards in Chaos Impact. So nice pull there. Rayka Marincess. I love it. I love it when we just, we talk about the card. We're like, yeah, this one. Okay, bam! There we go. Oh, babe. That was a, that was an impact. A Chaos Impact. Okay. Got the Star Leech. Man, our challenge, by the way, that just helped. I don't know if, we, if we've made our $100 challenge yet, but uh, we've still got a few packs left. So let's see if we can make it happen. Sea Angel, Crush a Run. All right. Roma Seraphim, Diana Wrestlers. Last two packs. Infinitoran, Prime Minerals, Abominals, Dream Beers. Uh, interesting. Tyrant Farm, Special Summon a non effect monster. Same original type and attribute as the monster tribute. Cool. I have to read some of these rares, make sure we know what each of these for a sealed only challenge. But for the $100 challenge for this video, Gizmek Yada, that's that's a pretty good card though. Um, okay, I'll take it. Gizmek Yada, that'll help. Another Unchained Twins. All right, this is it. The last two packs of Destiny. I know I said it before, but we need to say it one more time. Give it to us. Kaiba! There we go. Ignition Assault. Now you guys are gonna stay with me for these last two blisters. You gotta feel that blister get open here. Feel the Fresh, yes, as we dig into the cardboard there. Can we pull out an ultra, a secret, or just maybe, just maybe, a starlight, star bright. Will I see you in my dreams tonight? Shiny Black Sea. Ghost meets girl. Jack of Bolin, hey, that's a good one. I'm, yeah, I like zombies, but a very good zombie card. Very cool. Jack of Bolin, nice. Uh, Plunder Patrol, Megaliths, Cupids, and Execution. Okay. Last pack of Destiny. Yu Gi Oh! Man, that safer was beautiful. What else is gonna happen? This is Ignition Soul. Car Curries. The Dropper. Shiny Black Sea Squatter again. By the way, four star 2000. I don't know if you guys are taking note of that. Gar Ghost. Hey, Car Curries again. Ancient Warriors. Megalith and the Cupid Sir. All right. That is the $100 challenge for GameStop in our three part series for the sealed only wool of the retail stores. Uh, take another look at this, you guys. Pretty epic. Um, a little bit all over the place because obviously it was a whole bunch of different packs from different sets. But Crackdown, Gold Sarcophagus, Star Leech Seyfert, got a couple Jiznos over there. Dark Spirit, Dark Spirit. Got a Gizmachiata, Waking the Dragon even, that's pretty cool. Some crazy cards from um, Infinity Chasers. And so uh, I'm pretty excited, pretty excited. This is a good start. And we'll just have to see where it goes from here with our three trips to GameStop. Excited for that as well. Let me some game stuff. All right, you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed only. And see you on Lucky signing. Out.